everybody, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And today I wanted to share with you this fine, fine southern bit of cuisine that you may or may not be aware of, but really ought to give a try to, and that is this, Red Hots Pickled Sausages. Well, these are pickled sausages in name only. Actually, this particular brand is actually really just pickled hot dogs. But uh, if you've never had a pickled hot dog or a pickled sausage, or a pickled egg for that matter, Yo to yourself and give them a try because they're actually really, really good. And these are kind of a mainstay of Southern cuisine, at least in the old days. They're kind of fading away. A lot of, a lot of things are that are regional, tending to fade away into the distance. But not this one, not here, not with me anyway. I love these things. So let me get close up. We'll take a look at them, and then we'll come back here and do a taste test. This is Fisher's Red Hot Sausages, and this is just pickled hot dogs. That's all this really comes down to. Now here's a close-up of the... Uh, contents and the well here's the calorie guide and stuff like that carbohydrates and it does have some carbohydrates and that's because i'm sure there's some sugars added in fact it shows right down there at the bottom that there is and uh here's our ingredient list not a lot to it again here's a close-up but obviously it, the ingredients are mostly the processed hot dogs and these are very inexpensive hot dogs that usually come in here now these are these these they're calling these sausages but let's not kid ourselves these are hot dogs inexpensive hot dogs now, they do make real pickled sausages at the store, and they also make pickled eggs. I will do a review of both of those because those are also things that I do enjoy. But, uh, you know, the hot dogs, they're kind of getting harder to find, just the plain old hot dogs. And, and I've got to tell you, man, they're good. So I don't know if you've ever had pickled anything before other than maybe pickled eggs or, you know, pickles. But uh, you're missing out if you haven't. So let me go ahead and open this thing up. Now, I've already had a few of these. That's why they're not all in there, but... Actually, I think I've just had two. So it does come pretty well packed. You do get your money's worth. This was less than $3 for this little container here, so not a bad deal. Go ahead and set that over there. We'll pick one of these out. And there it is. Now, um, looks just like a regular hot dog because it, it's just a regular hot dog. I'll go ahead and break it in half. You can see just, just a regular cheap uh, chicken and pork hot dog, not even all beef hot dog. But uh, they're not bad, so that's pretty much what you're getting. As far as taste, hmm. All right, here we go. Here we got our little pickled hot dog here, and I'm telling you, these are not bad. They are sour. They do have a little bit of spice in it, but I mean like a very little bit of spice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I remember. Hmm. Yeah, it's so good. So, obviously, anything that's pickled has got that vinegary taste to it, kind of sharp bite. And it may not sound like it would work really well, but I assure you, it really works well with hot dogs and sausages, as well as pickled eggs and other pickled things. You can pickle just about anything, you know. But man, mm. that's some tasty food right there, I'm telling you. <laughs> pickled sausages, or in this case, pickled hot dogs, I don't care what the label says, these are just hot dogs. Now they do, again, make those real sausages, but uh I went looking for these. Mm. I don't know. Maybe Fisher's is the only one that actually makes the hot dog version anymore, but you can make these at home. A little bit of vinegar, a little bit of water, add a little spice, pop a pack of cheapo hot dogs in there, let it sit in the fridge for about a week, and you got just like these guys. <laughs> Fisher's slogan is, the smile the smile making people since 1904. Well, good for them, man. Made in, uh, looks like Kentucky. Cool. Awesome. Well, <laughs> I'm obviously giving this one a huge thumbs up. This is something that would be a good low-carb or lower-carb snack for folks who are trying to diet. But either way, if, you, if you're just looking for something that's a little bit different, Maybe something you walked by in the aisles for years and years and years and looked at and thought, oh, no way, that's going to be nasty. Take it from me, Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms, that pickled sausage, pickled hot dogs, they're good. I'm also going to be doing a review of pickled eggs because, gosh, I love pickled eggs. Eggs, uh, the chickens we have are producing like crazy right now, so we pickled a bunch of eggs. And uh, some of them are spicy, some garlic, oh, all kinds of flavors. And uh, I'll be sure to do some reviews on those to give you an idea of what you're looking for when you look at a pickled egg. You can make it yourself, you can buy it at the store, and so on. So, until then, my friends, I will see you next time. Take care.
there's always something that needs a little fixing on Farpoint Farms. 